right, I took a little break. Now we're here for round three. Currently one and one. Hand is perfectly reasonable. Can't Oath of Nissa on turn one, unfortunately. Uh, looks like it's probably going to be a turn three play, maybe digging for a land. Opponent has a choked estuary. All right, so now if I play Advocate, I can play Hanger Back on two and Oath of Nyssa, so I'm going to do that. Uh, if I play Hanger Back and then Oath on turn three, I would have to hit a green to also play the Advocate, plus I wouldn't be ticking up the Hanger Back, so this seems like a better, better sequence. And Transgress misses. Uh, good old Expels. Well, we did hit the green, but oh well. Getting in some extra damage. Gideon, please. Nissa, I will accept that. Play the planes that our opponent knows about. Now, if our opponent has another transgress, they can snipe our Nissa, but oh well. Some bones. All right, then protector's a nice draw. So right now we're doing a pretty good job of attacking our opponent from a bunch of different angles. Uh, we have a couple threats, uh, a planeswalker, a hanger back with a dies trigger. And our stuff died, but I think it's okay. Uh, we could play Den Protector this turn, or we could just hold open for Secure the Wastes. I think I, I like that, just because even if Secure trades for a Counterspell, we can just play Den Protector on the next turn. And also probably start ticking down on Nissa. So is our opponent straight blue-black, or are they Esper? Mm, Cletus is good. So if nothing else, I can just play Den Protector and fight the Kalitas. Fortunately, can't fight my own creature. I'd still be a point sh short. Oh, no, I wouldn't. Because, yeah, I could fight my own creature, put a counter on something else. Yeah, still can't fight my own creature. Okay, so... I don't know if this is even the best way to do this. Definitely taking down on Nyssa. So this is a little risky if my opponent has another Languish. Because uh, then I'm kind of out of gas. They're two life. Maybe I'll kill them with plant. All right, so they are Esper. Yep. That's a beaten. Hmm. Possible I should have just ticked down on Nyssa and attacked with everyone. And then let my opponent gain three but take a bunch and then save the Den Protector. Maybe that would have been better.
So now I can tick down on Nissa, play another Nissa, and tick down, force him to chump with Jace unless he has a removal spell. And I assume that my opponent has a removal spell. Or at least a counter spell. Probably has something. So yeah, we went from being super far ahead to not very far ahead. This is likely my own fault. So opponent does not yet want to languish away my board. Ooh, Abby's nice. I was just thinking about how Abby would be nice. My opponent at three life or two life. Here come some one, two plants. Can you defeat them? Looting end of turn doesn't really make a lot of sense unless you're also gonna do something. Cause you could all, I guess, they just have an island that they wanna discard anyway, but generally it's better to just wait until your turn if you're going to do an effect that you can only do once. Just like the, the end of turn, like sack Mogfnet to deal you one or end of turn wasteland you. Like you don't lose anything by going to your turn. So I guess, I guess in that spot, my opponent could have hit something that they wanted to cast, but. So I assume that my opponent has Ojutai, and we are going to board as such. So the clip wings come in, the stones come in as a clean answer to Cletus. Uh, and if I had a stone instead of a command, then I would have had to uh, commit my den protector that turn, which was not great. That was not great. Uh, Matchups like this, I generally like cutting a couple Archangel Avacins just because... The ability is not all that relevant, both the indestructible and the potential transform ability. So it is mostly just 5-mana 4-4 four, four flyer for fl with flash, which is good, obviously, but... Not necessarily in these matchups where they have a bunch of, like, Grasp of Darknesses and Ultimate Prices and stuff. So I could actually see just cutting all of them, maybe bringing in an Angelic Purge to give me another answer to uh, Kalidus. Actually, they probably have uh, Virulent Plague, too. Which, which means that the purges should probably come in. Uh, now I'm kind of like heavy on removal, and maybe I do want something like Avacyn that's not a card that gets wrecked by Virulent Plague. Maybe I'm supposed to be cutting some Hangerbacks or Secure the Wastes. Not a bunch of them. Like, these cards are all pretty good. Uh, but maybe shaving on them is wise. I guess maybe I'm supposed to keep some commands then, too. So let's do this. Go two commands. So now we have four cards that kill Kalidus and four cards that kill Virulent Plague. And Den Protectors to rebuy them. And only two cards that kill Ojutai, but I think that's okay. I'll cut a secure. What else do I want to cut? We, I have 12 creatures, 25 lands, so that's 37. So these oaths are kind of likely to just miss. So maybe you have to shave an oath. I guess I only have 15 things that whiff, so yeah. I think I'm fine shaving one oath. I like Oath of Nissa a lot. I would generally not do that, but I do have a lot of spells in my deck now. See, Oath of Nissa would be great in this hand. Instead, I kind of feel like I have to mulligan. If I had Oath and could cast Gideon off it, then I might just keep. But... Do I want this planes? Not particularly. <clears throat> I will need a fourth land at some point. Uh, but I'm not really in a rush. I'm definitely happier, happier to have multiple copies of Nyssa. Here it comes. 
This is a mini threat that you do have to deal with, and I don't have the five mana to necessarily play it and unmorph it. I expect this to get countered. I will not pay the one. I assume if my opponent had Kalidus, they may have played it there. So that's good to know. So my opponent also doesn't have Ojutai, otherwise they would have showed it to me. They have a Prairie Stream. And if I don't get Languish this turn, I can probably go tick down on Nissa, play another Nissa tick down, get Advocate out of Languish range. Painful Truths is pretty nice. A little upset I don't get to play with that card anymore, because I'm just not comfortable playing these three color decks. Uh-oh, I assume the one on the right is the new one. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. Now Advocate is way out of Languish range. And we actually have a reasonable clock. So I purge back up in case any shenanigans happen. That's it. Easy.